Hey everyone, welcome to vlog number 26. Today is going to be the first vlog that I actually answer the request of a viewer. Gadget Man writes, Come on Donnie, I'm starting to miss the mouse and the tours under your house. Well, that's a legitimate gripe. The thing is, I usually have many stories going on at the same time. And I sort of try to touch on those stories, not in every vlog, but if you follow the vlog, you sort of follow the stories. So this vlog is going to be about exactly that. My continuing mouse saga. Alright, looks like our friend the mouse was here last night. Some droppings there. And here's some. But here's the thing. I feel somewhat victorious because he didn't get any food. Everything's intact. We've checked the cupboards and no containers have been compromised. Now here's the odd part, of course the bait is still in the trap. So despite having literally like no food supply, this mouse is not going in the trap. I've got granola and peanuts in there. So Mr. Mouse was definitely exploring, but he definitely didn't get any food. Ha 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 on you, Mr. Mouse. Hey everyone, it's mail time. Well, let's see what the wonderful fans have got for me today. Today is what I call Dark Package Day. Very mysterical, I must say. So let's start with the big one first. Oh, what's in here? I don't know. A little snip there, a little snippy snip there, and a little snippy snip here. Let's see, what is... You, the fans, have sent me some sort of... Cover thingy. Hey, my what? package. Give it here. It's uh, it's it's not yours. Bring it here. All right. All right. So what else? Oh, looky here. What do we have here? Oh, I think I know what this is. These chimneys sure know how to wrap these presents. I must say, what is it? I think these are from my GoPro Hero 3 cameras. Yes! GoPro Hero 3 shells. Oh yeah! So now I can use my Hero 3 cameras to record mousey mouse activity, yes? So the mouse saga continues. As you can see, the mouse clearly knows that this trap is a trap. So, my brother had actually had an idea to disguise the trap as just another little innocent little box. Oh, Mr. Mouse, I'm not a dangerous trap. I'm just an innocent little box that can do no harm. A box of food. Well, let's see if it works. On a mouse trap, Mr. Mouse, it's safe to come in. Come on in and have some delicious, yummy food. The reason I haven't really touched on the mouse saga is twofold. One, not much has been happening with the mice. Yes, they've been visiting occasionally. Basically, my strategy changed from catching the mice to cutting off their food supply. In episode 23, I basically asserted that I didn't really mind that the mice were crawling around the house. I don't really care that a bunch of mice are crawling around the house. It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that they get into our food supply. So I took steps to mouse-proof our food. This seemed to work pretty good because they haven't gotten into any of our food, which is... Uh, Though the mice have visited occasionally and left behind their telltale sign of little mouse droppings, as the mice kind of figure out that there's no food around here, their visits are becoming less and less frequent. That said, we still do find the occasional mouse dropping in the pantry, but they're not getting any food. The second facet of not updating this is I haven't really changed that strategy. I still have the same mouse trap set and I was still using the same bait so nothing really changed so there was really nothing to report. Well now something has changed. I built another mouse trap. I decided that I once again wanted to catch the mice. <laughs>
Well, there it is. A better mouse trap? I guess we'll see. All right, so here's tonight's setup. So what I've done is I've stuck the trap on a friction modifier so it won't slide. And then I've pinned this board up against the wall and I've smeared a little peanut butter, very little, just to sort of get the scent going, just to kind of attract them. Then I've got my GoPro camera set up with a uh, light here so I can turn off the kitchen light and just have this, this very dim light so the mice won't be afraid. But it gets even better, folks, and I'm gonna show you why. We go back here into the boudoir. I've got my Android set up with the GoPro camera. So not only can I control the camera from here, but I can see what's going on. Is that cool or what? I am ready to catch these meese. For bait, I used a couple of different things. I used the sugary remnants of these cashew clusters. So that's what all that kind of sugary junk at the bottom is. That's, I throw that stuff out anyway, right? And then there's peanuts in there, and then there's a big globby roll of peanut butter. If you can see it, kind of right down there, and I rolled it in that, in that sugar. So it's quite a taste treat, quite a feast for any mouse that gets caught in this trap. Now, this trap is designed to catch multiple mice. They're not supposed to be able to climb out. Mice can go in, but they can't come out, in theory. So far, I know we have at least two. We've, I've seen a big one and a small one, and actually sort of accidentally killed a smaller one, as you can see here. I know, I'm not happy about it. It was a total accident. The mouse was in the trash compactor somehow and got stuck in the door somewhere somewhere in there but that's old news hopefully this works so far my two other traps have not worked the mice have been too smart they recognize the trap hopefully they won't recognize this trap as a trap oh i also dropped some mouse feces down in there so it's already got like scent of mouse down there so i'm hoping that will help too between the Mises, the sugary, nutty clusters, the peanut butter. I'm hoping I get something tonight. Wish me luck.